can see there, I've fitted a, a hydrogen unit, it's a HHO system, yeah. and that's the and that's the free DC 3000. The hydrogen is boiled off, it goes into this collection tank here, which is a, a one litre holding tank. The hydrogen is drawn off from that pipe there, it goes into a bubbler, which separates any moisture from the gas. It then comes down through the top of it, from the bubbler to the intake manifold, which is here. Okay, you just drill a, a hole in there and put the pipe in there. The system obviously is 12 volts DC and it's powered up by this PWM. It's a pulse width modulator. Okay, and uh, this one is a 30 amp one. And what that does, that sends a frequency or, or uh, it's, it's a frequency modulator and it sends a current to the HHO system pulsing on and off. Okay? And it, it prevents the HHO from boiling over and burning out. So it should last a really lot, a good two years, no problem. Alright? Um, fit, it's been fitted a couple of weeks now and um, this is running as a sweet as a nut. This is on a Mazda MX3 V6 and so there's two lambda sensors on the exhaust output one on each side of the three exhaust outputs there's a lambda sensor to the back and one to the front of the exhaust pipe which you have to put add two lambda extenders okay and then you have to reset the um, the you have to reset the uh, computer okay and um, what I did for that was we disconnected the battery and left it off overnight and put it on in, on the morning so it's had plenty of time to discharge. I've set this uh, the amperage up on this because it's a 1.8 um, cc engine. According to the manual it should run about 7.8 amps. So I'm just got that tweaking up here now. It's just over eight and a half amps and then it's pulsing and you'll see that's going up to eight, nearly, nearly nine there. And then it goes down to six. So I'll just give that a little bit of a tweak down. What we got there now? That's better. It's coming on just about eight and a half and it should go down to about six and a half. There she goes. So that's the current it's drawing. Uh, we had to do a test on it with all the lights on, the, the heater fan, etc. Just to see if the, um, the modulator tripped out enough or not, but it didn't. It's, it's holding perfect. And as you can hear, the, uh, the V6 engine on this Mazda is running, running as sweet as a nut. As you can see, the, uh, the hydrogen is boiling off from the HHO system and it's coming up on the inside of that pipe. You can just see it boiling, bubbling up through that pipe there. Okay, and it goes into there, into the holding tank. And then it's recycled, it goes back down again to the HHO system, which is fitted on the front of the uh, car. What you need to do with this is that you have to contact the uh, DVLA the, uh, and uh, get it re-registered as a, um, as a dual system. So it's running on petrol and hydrogen. But it's only hydrogen on demand and not hydrogen stored. So there you go. I think I've done a pretty good job of that. So that's your hydrogen. Hydrogen power. Do it, yep, beautiful. Well, there you go, guys. Get it, get it fitted.
demand that we have hydrogen.